Now we're going to turn to the fallout after the arrest of a high school band director. New body cam videos show the police officer tased Johnny Mims during an altercation after a football game in which the band would not stop playing. DeMarco Morgan spoke with the band director and he is with us this morning. Good morning, DeMarco. Good morning to you. Another talker here. Uh, the football game had ended inside the stadium. The marching band, however, was still playing music and there's a little back and forth between police and the band director. And the rest you just have to see for yourself. And we want to warn you, some may find the video that you're about to see disturbing. This morning, shocking body camera footage showing a high school band director being arrested and tased, now at the center of a police investigation. Birmingham police say this all happened after Johnny Mims refused their orders to cut minor high school's band performance and leave the stadium after a football game last week. The band kept playing after the final whistle during what is referred to as the fifth quarter, a tradition shared by many high school and HBCU marching bands across the South. Mims directed the band to continue playing. Shortly after, the lights of the stadium are turned off. But it's what happens next that has Mims outraged. Band members screaming in disbelief as an officer pulls out a stun gun during his arrest. And to hear those kids cry, that's the most heart-wrecking thing that anybody can ever experience. Mims tased at least three times. I didn't deserve to be tased. I'm a good citizen. The 13 year band veteran sharing his story with ABC News. Was there ever a point that you feared for your safety, feared for your life? The feeling of being tased for the first time, you've, I've seen it before, but for you to actually feel it for yourself and the amount of power going in, I could feel my fingers like numbing up. They tased me again and then tased me for the third time. So imagine if I had a heart defect issue or imagine if I, I panic on top of that. It could have been fatal. Mims is charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest and harassment. His attorney says his civil rights were violated. It was unwarranted. I don't care how it started. It never should have ended up like this. This should have been a matter in which it de-escalated. Birmingham police telling ABC News the incident is now under investigation by its internal affairs division. My biggest prayer is that, first of all, that these students will not hold a grudge, um, that they would be able to overcome this, that they would uh, one day be able to move forward and continue to be the, the great people that they are. And aside from demanding justice, the band director says he wants the charges dropped and a full apology, not just to himself, but an apology to his students as well from the Birmingham Police Department for what happened. But, you know, I was in high school and in the marching band, we played after the games mm -hmm. and college. They play after the games until the last man is standing. So it's not unheard of. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. not at all. Mm -hmm. I know at TSU we did the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, DeMarco. What instrument, instrument did you play? I was a drum major, but I played the cymbals. I had to play the cymbals, and you put me on the spot. I wish I could play the drums, but I was doing this, Robin. Oh, DeMarco, I'm never going to look at you quite the same. No. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you on GMA3. I, called you out on that. I, I, I couldn't resist. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.